Hello friends, welcome to my channel Trit Studio. In this video, I am going to unbox and review Deepcool Gamex 400 Pro CPU Cooler. It is a tower type air cooler with dual fans. At first, let's take a look around the box and its specifications. The cooler has a TDP of 180W. It comes with 4 copper heat pipes and 2 cooling fans with push-pull mechanism. The fans are PWM controller for regulating speeds. This cooler can be used with both AMD and Intel CPUs and the fans are fixed blue LED lights. Let's move on to the other side. The product is made in China and here we have some specifications. It supports all AMD sockets and Intel LGA 1200, 1151, 1150 sockets. Net weight of the cooler is 780 gram. Heat pipe diameter is 6 mm. Fan dimension is 120 mm. Fan speed is between 500 to 1650 rpm. Fan noise is 28 dB. And the fan has hydro bearing and fan power consumption is 2.16 watt. On the other side, we have the dimension and view of the cooler. And here we have some import information. Now let's open the box and see the contents. At first, we get a user manual. It has installation instructions. Let me put it aside. Then we have mounting bracket and installation kits. And here is the cooler. Wow, it's huge. The cooling fans are already installed with the heat sink and it's heavy too. The black top cover gives a unique appeal and there is a branding of deep cool on the top of the heat sink which looks really very cool. Let's take a look around the cooler. It has total 56 cooling fins and 4 copper heat pipes. The fans are white in color and they have blue LEDs, not RGB LED. Both the fans have PWM header, so your motherboard should have CPU fan or chassis fan headers to install this cooler. In the accessories box, we get a plastic bracket, some screws, a little bit of thermal compound, then four stainless steel holders, two of them for AMD platform and two of them for Intel platform, and then some other screws. We have to attach four screws on this plastic bracket according to our CPU socket. The top one is for Intel 1366 and the bottom one is for Intel 115X socket. On the other side, we have hole for AMD socket. The top hole is for M4 and the bottom one is for other AMD sockets. I am going to use this cooler with Intel LGA 1200 socket. So this is how we have to attach four screws with this plastic bracket. The platform name is written over on the other side and you have to fix the screws from the opposite side. This is how we have to attach four screws for LG 1200 Intel socket. Now we have to attach this plastic bracket from the back of our motherboard. This plastic bracket will evenly distribute the load of the CPU cooler and you don't have to open your motherboard to install this bracket. You can and do this also even if your motherboard is already installed in a casing. Now we have to attach these bolts with the screws. At first I will set the washers and then thread the bolts with the screws. Now we have to detach the fans from the heat sink so that we can connect the stainless steel bracket with the base plate. We have to tightly attach this bracket with the base plate because it will bear the load. Now apply thermal paste and distribute it evenly with the help of a card. This is important as the base plate of the cooler is big. We need to spread the thermal paste for a better contact. Now peel off this plastic protective covering from the base plate and place the cooler on the mounting screws. Now thread the spring loaded bolts with the mounting screws. And finally, we have to fix them firmly with the help of a screwdriver. Now, attach both the fans with the heat sink. And then we have to connect the PWM header with the motherboard CPU fan port. Here you can see my motherboard has two CPU fan port and I am connecting the PWM header on that port. The cooler may block your first RAM slot. All the depends on your motherboard manufacturer. But for me, it did block my first RAM slot. 
and this is the end result after installation it looks very attractive and it is very silent even at 100% speed don't forget to check your cabinet case with as the cooler is almost touching my glass panel i am using this cooler with core i9 10850k processor this cooler is not a ideal choice for this processor but this cooler can handle this processor for gaming but for video rendering and blender test the cooler cannot handle the processor and the processor goes into thermal throttling i will make a dedicated video on its cooling performance in my next video thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for future updates have a great day